Hello Libra, welcome to your reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Thank you for joining. I've been away for a while. I'm so very happy to be back. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Libra, let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull an angel number for you, then we'll pull an oracle card, and then go to tarot for understanding and clarification, Libra. Let's find out what spirit needs you to know right now. Angel number 101. 101. Starting over, Libra. Let's see. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience, Libra. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid, Libra. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh, Libra. All right, 101 is your angel number. Let's see. I'm going to pull an oracle from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for you, Libra. Let's find out what your overall energy is. Spirit, do tell. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Interesting. Libra. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Hmm. Okay. All right. So... What I'm feeling with this card for you, Libra, you definitely are being pointed to in the direction of spiritual development. Absolutely. I feel like, Libra, you have a draw or a pull, a curiosity uh, exploring your spirituality and what you believe about a specific spiritual practice I feel you're being drawn to, right? You might have had negative experiences in the past with specific religious organizations. And I feel like right now, Libra, you are pretty much over it with religion. I'm feeling that you want to walk a more spiritual path because you've been curious about spirituality, but sticking with tradition of how you were raised in whatever religious organization and institution that may be. So that's where I'm feeling the straddling of two worlds. And right now you are doing some analysis, some inner work to figure out what actually feels good to you, what feels write to you what resonates with you more deeply so that you don't have to straddle two worlds anymore, Libra. That's what I'm feeling. And this could be a new start, a fresh start starting over, right? All right, let's pull some tarot. <laughs> the high priestess shows up for you, Libra. Oh, wow. Just talking about, you know, walking a more spiritual path and the high priest is is definitely spiritual right divine truth and wisdom intuition that is more spiritual than religious then we have the six of pentacles for you libra as well as the knight of swords all right so again with this high priestess for you libra this is absolutely confirming you want to explore your curiosity about a more spiritual practice versus a religious practice, something you were raised with. And I, I'm getting that feeling that you're tired of straddling these two worlds. You're somewhat disappointed in what you believed in for such a long time, for decades even, because you were raised in this religious organization and things are not feeling real to you things are not resonating with you anymore in that religious organization so you definitely know that there is a higher power and you want a new way to explore that and you are definitely 
straddling two worlds because you don't want to upset the apple cart or whatever in your family or disappoint uh, your family with your new spiritual practice. So it's like you're going in between both of these worlds of religious and spirituality. Spirit is telling you your path is a spiritual path and not a religious one. I'm not here to step on any toes. I'm just delivering what it is that I feel and the cards are telling me. This will make a difference in your life, Libra. This will this will absolutely bring you a sort of harmony harmony and balance to your life. You will learn how better to cooperate with the universe as you traverse this spiritual journey ahead of you. And then we have the Six of Pentacles showing up. What I'm feeling with this is once you decide, you pick a side, you no longer straddle the the worlds, the religious world versus the spiritual world, if I could talk today. What this Six of Pentacles is pointing to for, to for you, Libra, is you will give and receive um, in a manner that is for your greater good. The universe, source, the God of your understanding, that higher power, whatever it is you want to call it, Libra, it will be a, an exchange. You will be compensated for your journey. You will not be left alone. You will be rewarded. You will definitely find that harmony. Um, and there's healing in this journey for you. Libra is also what I'm getting. Then we have the Knight of Swords. This is telling me that you are determined to figure this out and get out of this space of uncertainty. You're really uncertain. You're somewhat... Um, in turmoil, I feel for you, Libra. So the Prince of it's Prince of Swords here, but the traditional is Knight of Swords. You are determined to have a shift in your thinking, a shift in your believing, your belief system, Libra. There's an ambition on the inside of you that really wants to charge forward with this curiosity of spirituality. All right, let's get some clarification here. Five of Swords, right? Yep. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Oh, this one's coming too. And Three of Cups as well as... I need to bring this over here as well as the um, page of wands with the page of wands. That is a new adventure. That is a new learning experience for you, Libra. Exploring the new idea that you want to go further on a spiritual journey to essentially cut ties with your religious upbringing because it no longer resonates with you. It no longer feels absolute to you. There are too many questions. There are too many dark things that you've discovered. Right? So the page of wands absolutely points to exploration. And a, a new idea. A new belief system for you Libra. We have the five of swords here. What I'm feeling with this Five of Swords, you do you do yearn for a sense of freedom. It feels like your religious background has been very constraining, very um, authoritarian. You don't have any sovereignty in this particular organization. Like it's very stringent and you must do and you must do and you must do and these must do's just don't feel good to you so what i'm feeling with this five of swords for you libra is you are looking for a sense of freedom you want a change in your life because the whole religious thing is conflicting with your soul it's conflicting with your spirit and it's leaving you in chaos 
you feel like there have been some underhanded things that have happened in your religious organization and you're not okay with that. There's some sneakiness, there's some untruths going on, Libra, and you, you, you want to walk away from that. And at the same time, you don't want to disappoint your family. And then the Queen of Pentacles shows up for you. What I'm feeling is it's time to nurture what your soul knows. Your soul knows what you don't. And that uncomfortable feeling you're getting is because your soul knows this is not the place for you. And the Queen of Pentacles is showing up for you, Libra, to say nurture that nudging, nurture that unction, nurture that curiosity, right? You will be successful. Um, the abundance of information and experience that you will gain on this journey brings you to a place of success, Libra. You will not be left flapping in the wind. And I say that because the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups shows up. This is your spiritual team. I talk about spiritual team all the time. Your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. They are going to be with you. They're here now, Libra. You just have to call on them. They don't force anything on you. Your spiritual team acts in service of you and to you at the request from you. And then they go to work. You ask them. Your spiritual team knows that it is your choice. Nothing is forced upon you. Your spiritual team has always been with you. So when you start to ask that they show you where to start, ask that they show you um, what's next or what path to take, they're here for you. You're not alone in this. You're absolutely not alone. There's a temptation to not rock the boat with this devil card coming up for you, Libra. There's a temptation to not rock the boat and not knock the, the tradition of the religion you were raised in. That temptation is there because that's easy. And we don't grow in the easy. We don't grow in the comfortable. We grow when we get outside of our comfort zone. We grow when we explore what feels good to our soul, what keeps us in a space of joy and happiness and keeps peace in our hearts and minds and does not leave us in conflict. There, it's time to resist the temptation to stay the same. That's what I'm feeling. Resist the temptation to stay the same because being the same as you are, Libra, has you in turmoil, has you in conflict, has you straddling two worlds, Libra, like you're living two different lives. And you don't need to be split like that. You, you get to make a choice for what feels good to you, what resonates with you, what aligns with the unction in your bones, Libra. Queen of Cups, a lot of queen energy, male or female, right? This journey will bring you comfort. You will find comfort on this new journey of exploring spirituality as it resonates and aligns with you. You will have a calmness come over you. The chaos will leave you. It will flee from you. And you will be able to discern what is good for you because your spiritual team is always supporting and guiding you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords shows up for you, Libra. This is done. The straddling of two worlds is done. You are making a difference in your own life. And when you are able to be better than who you were yesterday, Libra, you are able to do things for others. You are able to come into service for others. Your joy will be overflowing. It is fluid, as your angel number card says. It will be an arduous task ahead of you. It will be difficult, but anything easy 
it's really not worth it because everybody has it. You're going to attain something that no one else can have because it's unique to you, Libra. Ten of Swords is saying this situation, the turmoil, it's over. There's a transformation that is happening in your life. When you surrender to this, you will be restored. You will be renewed. You will have a fresh set of ideas and perspective on who you are and what you're meant to be in this world. This transformation and transition in your life, it's for your betterment, Libra. Raise your vibration. Make the decision. Choose what aligns and resonates with you deeply.